Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this look for you. It is a very kind of goldy, bronzy tone, perfect for blue eyes and also any other eye colour if you want. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! So the first thing that I use is my QV Rescue Gel and I apply this to my under eye area as well as over my eyelid just to bring back a little bit more moisture and to keep that product there for the whole day. So I'm using my Face of Australia Concealer and this is in the colour 870M. So next up is foundation and today I'm going to be using the 225 Fit Me Foundation and I have it in of the colour... Oh no, what colour do I... <laughs> Oh, it says 225, my bad. Um, so yeah, the Fit Me Foundation in 225. So I think that this might be a little bit dark for me because I'm also going to mix it with my Max Perfection Foundation in 200 Soft Beige. I know that this is a little bit lighter and I'm thinking this might be a little bit darker but we'll see as it goes on. So I'm just going to mix a little bit onto the back of my hand. Not too much. Be fine. I definitely already can see that this is going to be way too dark. Which I might mix it with my Max Factor Face Infinity Beige 55. So this is a really light foundation. As you can see, you can definitely see the tone. And I think if I mix these two, it might give me a colour in between. Okay, that still looks a little bit dark. So I'm going to mix some of my Mineral Powder Light Number Two from Maybelline and this is in the colour Classic Ivory. I feel like a little bit of a chemist right now. Bit of this, bit of this, for an artist. Then using my Astralis powder in Deep Natural, I'm just going to buff this in with, it's a no name, just a fluffy kabuki brush. shade of powder so I'm using this Revlon Age Defying Smoothing Powder in 05 Sand Beige and I'm just going to use a large fluff E50 from Sigma and I'm just going to set that under eye concealer and powder in. A small angle E65 brush and I'm just going to go in with the lightest colour because my brows are losing their tint very quickly so I'm just going to fill this in. In today's look, I'm going to be taking from the 28 Neutral Eyeshadow Colour from BH Cosmetics, and it's going to be this very neutral brown colour, this one here, and I'm going to be applying this with Sigma's SS2239 flat shade of brush, and I'm just going to apply this over the eyelid by patting movements. This is just going to give it a better colour payoff, and it's going to put more of that product onto that eyelid area. 
I'm going to be using is Sigma's eyeshadow Shine A Light, which is just a white eyeshadow. So any white eyeshadow you have will work. And I'm going to be using a blending E25 brush from Sigma. And this is going to be my highlight colour. So you're just going to tap off the excess. This is quite a chalky eyeshadow, so you want to be very careful. And I'm just going to apply this underneath the eyebrow. with our 28 color eye palette now once again I'm going to grab this slightly darker brown color putting that onto a SS224 and I'm going to blend this now from my under eye brow highlight into the crease line to blend this in between the highlight and the crease. I just want to have more of a gradient effect going down and just to be a very minimal transition. Now I'm just going to go in with this very beautiful glittery kind of maroon deep red burgundy colour and I'm just using SS2275 brush to Concentrate this colour into the crease line and create an outer V. And then going in with the SS224 brush, just further feathering this out. eyeliner in Bronze Ambition. It's just a very nice browny colour. I'm going to line my waterline. Now going in with my Coastal Scents 88 colour eyeshadow palette, I am going to be using this really nice goldy colour here. And I'm going to be applying this with this brush. This one is the Eyeshading E55 brush. And so you just want to pack this colour on, tap off any excess, and then I'm just going to pat this back on top of the eyelid very lightly. You want to concentrate it at the middle, and then as you have less product on your brush, you work your way up. Just because we've already blended this area, so we don't want to make any harsh lines or anything like that. and the same brown colour, I'm now going to bring this to my under eyelash area. Now flipping the brush to the other side, I'm going to grab this even darker bronzed colour and apply this on top of what we previously applied and then also bring it down and line the lower lash line. Then going in with a SS224 brush to blend out any harsh lines. So now to 
redden up the inner eye area, I'm going to be using Bose Shimmer Powder. And just using my ring finger, I'm going to lightly press into the powder and then very softly press this into the tear duct area. And then I'm going to just use a blending brush just to soften it up ever so slightly. using the Polyon Purtis Black Eyeliner and it's in the duo with the blush and the eyeliner. <laughs> and so I'm just going to line my upper lash line and I might give it a wing. I'll see how I go. Okay, so I decided I don't like the wing as you probably saw. So I'm going to change it. So I'm just doing a very thin line and I'm going to blend it out to smoke it out a little bit. So the first thing is I have to fix my rings, they keep falling off. Okay, I got that done. Um, okay, so the first thing is to use my eyeliner one more time and I'm gonna do this eye and then maybe I'll describe what I'm doing as I'm doing. So I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go over with that deep burgundy color from my 28 neutral eyeshadow palette. This one here, just to kind of blend and soften that really dark eyeliner line, just a smidge. So I'm going to do that with my pencil E30 brush and I'll just quickly fix this one up so I'm just going to run the pencil back and forth over the line just to blend it ever so slightly up. So now that that's done I'm just going to go one more time with my bow powder and just to brighten up the inner water duct area. You know what I have in my head and I can't seem to get it out last night, I was watching, it's called the Gilberts, no it's not Gilberts, um, the Goldbergs, it's a TV show and so the daughter she gets a job and then the mum keeps coming in for the staff discount. And then the mum, and then she gets the mum arrested so that she won't use her staff discount anymore. It's just the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I can't get it out of my head now. But who does that? Can you imagine like getting your mum arrested? <laughs> oh, shame. So now I'm going to be using two mascaras. I'm going to be using my Clump Crush Up by Lash Blast, and I, it's by CoverGirl, and then my Rimmel London Scan by. So first, I'm going to use my Clump Crush Up. And just apply a thin coat to my bottom and top lashes on my top Bronzer. So I'm going to be using oh, not that one. Where did I put it? I'm sure I brought it down. There's no way I didn't. I swear on my things are growing legs and running away. Where did it go? First my eyeliner and now this. What happens? Um, okay, so I'm just going to have to use this then because I don't know where it is. I'm going to be using my MAC Skinalize, Mineralize Skin Finish in Warm Blend. And I'm just going to use... What should I use for this? I'm going to use a SS168 brush. And I'm just going to contour my cheeks ever so slightly. Blush Bourgeois Amber Rose 74. And I'm going to use my Wake Me Up Rimmel Concealer just to kind of fix up any dark under eye circles and just to fix up any fallout 
and cover. Just pull in more foolproof way. And then for lips, I'm going to be using my 651 Revlon Lustrous Lipstick for us, lipstick in 651 Porcelain Pink. On top of that, I'm going to be using my Bow Beauty 24 Knockout Red Lips. And that's my final look, so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I was gonna go.